What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a kind of a mix of things actually. I haven't done a grocery haul in a while. I haven't shown you how I'm prepping my food. And there's a couple reasons for that, but honestly, working from home, I don't necessarily need to make like individualized meal prep meals. If you're looking for really in-depth meal prep videos, check out the Meal Prep Monday playlist that I have on my channel. I have tons and tons of videos on there. But for today's purpose, I kind of just want to show you like my staples. I just went to Publix and I want to show you what I got, how I'm going to prepare for the weekend, and how I like to organize things in my fridge to keep things on hand for when you're going into the weekend or if you're just going into a regular week and you need to prep some things. It's very basic, it's very easy, but this is just what I'm doing right now, so I figured I would show you. So welcome to the video. Today is actually Friday, so I am prepping this for my weekend. Let me show you what I got. What I'm gonna make today is some chicken salad. I've been doing a high protein pasta salad recently and so I wanted to switch it up and do a little bit of chicken salad. So I got some celery, my Alyssa's Vegan Bites, we already know. I just can't stop eating those. I tried to make my own version and it just wasn't as good. Buy one, get one free strawberries. I'm gonna chop these up. String trees, Miranda likes these and these are honestly just like a great way to get in some extra protein if you're someone who likes string cheese. It's <laughs> 3.5 fat, less than one carb and six protein for a little string cheese moment. Some Baby Bella mushrooms, blueberries, the Dijon mustard is for the chicken salad. A bit of cinnamon sugar for my coffees in the morning. Some bananas, of course. I also like to come up with something to prep with the Kodiak Cakes Power Cake Mix, just regular pancake and waffle mix. I don't know, I've done the muffins before. They were okay, I didn't love them reheated to be honest with you. So if you have any suggestions for like prepping these, let me know because I'm thinking maybe like a pancake bite or ball, some situation like that. At some, I honestly, I could have cooked a regular chicken breast and chopped it up, but I was feeling lazy today, so I got the chicken breast chunk in water for the chicken salad. These little Pro Oikios Pro yogurts are fantastic for if you need a little high protein snack. And then some perfect bars. The chocolate chip is my personal favorite. These were also two for six at the good old Publix. The Goodles mac and cheese. These two are my favorite flavors. They also now are making them plain. They didn't have this at Publix, but that's what I use as the base for my pasta salad recipe that I just posted. If you're also not subscribed to my app, you should be because I have been really heavily uploading the app recipes lately. So like they can just be all in one place. You don't have to scroll through my Instagram, all of that good stuff. This is actually not a staple. This is something I I've never seen before. Let's give it a try. You know what, I went through a phase where I really wanted to like matcha and I just, every single time I tried to make it myself with the packets, it was not it. I give this a try right out of the bottle. Okay, a dairy-free matcha for 12 ounces, six fat, 16 carb, and two protein. It's almond latte matcha. So my thing is, the reason that I got this today was because I keep having a mid-afternoon coffee and I would really like to not, and I think it's just because I'm getting into that habit of like wanting to drink something mid-afternoon, so I figured this might be a better alternative for me. So not something I would normally get, but everything else is pretty much my staples. Speaking of the staples, you already know instant rice jasmine. This is honestly just something that's great to have in your pantry at all times, especially if you don't want to, you know, boil a whole thing and cook a whole gigantic pot of rice. I did get some Tuscan Boulef, <laughs> Boulef loaf, a wrap. This is again, something that I always keep in my fridge because whether it's a spinach wrap or wheat wrap or whatever, you can just do pretty much anything on this. I have some ground beef that I wanna cook. If you wanted to make like a burrito, you can make it like that. You could do a breakfast burrito. In my case, I'm gonna make chicken salad wrap, but literally anything, throw it in a wrap. And then for said chicken salad, I got some plain 0% fat Greek yogurt because we're gonna use that mostly for the base instead of mayo and some core powers for extra protein. I use the 26 gram ones if I want to have it post-workout and then the 42 gram ones is what I use for my coffee to uh, froth the cream and that's what's the top of my coffee if you've ever seen me make that. So that's pretty much it. I think that was everything. Oh, and these uh, turkey bacons. These are, I only have ever been able to find these at Publix and 
uh, oh my god, I almost just said high V, not high V, Harris Teeter. So these are great for breakfast sandwiches, for scrambles. And that is pretty much what I eat on a regular basis. Everything else is already in my fridge. So I'm gonna kind of just organize this and then we're gonna prep some things, make the chicken salad, and then I'll show you everything at the end. I'm gonna do before I make my actual chicken salad is just throw some frozen veggies in a pan. To me, obviously, fresh is always gonna be better, but I wanna kind of get through, rid of these. I've just had them in my freezer forever. And it's just a mix of like broccoli, zucchini, squash, cauliflower, whatever. And I have a big pan with a little bit of olive oil in it. I find that for the frozen veggies, it's better to have some type of oil in your pan instead of just a spray. So I'm just gonna let that sit over there and we're gonna start with the chicken salad. things honestly I could have made a lot more but I only got two things of uh, chicken today for some reason if you haven't seen my video on how to create a recipe in my fitness pal I will link it in the description box in the little card but for this in particular this made weighed out to be 569 uh, grams total and so let's just say you wanted to take like 150 gram serving you would have 24 25 grams of protein 2.6 fat and 10 carb and you could put that on a wrap and there you have like another if they use like a spinach wrap with six grams of protein easy 30 gram of protein lunch that's super quick grab out of the fridge boom you're good to go i pop this in the fridge to cool this is i'm gonna be a little extra for this because i find that i don't like to eat all of the ground beef just like as ground beef. I like to basically take this in half, use half for ground beef, and then the other half for like patties. So if I'm feeling a burger, all I literally have to do is just grab it out and heat it up in the air fryer. So I'm going to just make probably, I would say two or three patties, depending on how big these are. So I'm just gonna form it into like a thin patty. And I usually air fry these at 400 for like seven or eight minutes. It just kind of depends on how thick you want them. So just kind of press them out pretty flat like this. And I know obviously, again, it's not gonna taste as good as being fresh, but here's the thing. Everyone always says, oh, I don't feel like cooking, I don't feel like cooking. Okay, so then just grab a preheated patty out of your fridge and pop it in the microwave. If you do it ahead of time, you're way less likely to not eat it, you know? And it's just, you have to ask yourself what's more important to you. Do you really need it to be super, super fresh and delicious, or are you trying to reach a goal? Gonna hit these guys with some Montreal seasoning. I know this is for steak, but it's really good on burgers. And we're just gonna do 400. We're gonna do it first for five minutes, and then I'll flip them. This is what we want our veggies to look like, so I'm going to take these guys out.
lunch intermission, I would like to show you my plate. Guess how much protein is in just this little chicken salad wrap, cheese stick, and strawberries. 39 grams of protein. So if you don't like eating just like plain chicken and rice, I got you, that's what I'm here for. And this is way better than spending a bunch of money to get a chicken wrap that has like 1400 calories in it and probably half the protein. So try it, let me know if you enjoy it. Okay, so here is where we are at with my mini meal prep for the weekend. So we have the chicken salad, which I could have put that in a smaller bowl. Ground beef with some of the bell peppers, and this is great because in the fridge, which I'm gonna show you in a second, we have the wraps, I have the rice in the pantry like I showed you earlier. So really you can do a lot with that. Up and wash the strawberries just so I can have something to snack on. I have the cheese strings as well. Then just some regular roasted veggies, which again, you could use for a bunch of different things. And then two little hamburger patties, one for me, one for Miranda, just in case we decide we wanna have a little burger moment over the weekend. Sometimes you just like feel like you're in the mood for a burger, you know? Take you off here, I'm gonna show you inside the fridge. Hang on. I have some plain Greek yogurt, which was for the chicken salad if I decide to make more later in the week. If not, I can also do some other things, put some protein powder in there. It's a great thing to have for a snack just to have. I do have some other meal prep chicken back there. That was what I made the other day, just some chicken breast. I have mushrooms to prep probably on Monday. I'll do those. Core powers, some fruits and yogurts there, eggs. This is kind of like my like sandwich drawer. So like cheeses, meats, and then these little turkey bacon things, the bread back there. And then here is pretty much all of my veggies, wraps, spinach, celery, carrots, and then all the breads down there. That is how I have things stocked to keep myself set for success. That is my little meal prep. It is 1.20. I started this at 12.30. So it literally took me 50 minutes and I filmed it all. It's really, in my opinion, easier to do things in small chunks, especially if you're somebody that gets bored with your food throughout the week. And even just something as simple as breaking your meat package in half and using one in one way and another, the other half in another way. It's just a good way to switch things up so that you can make sure you're still eating your meats without getting sick of them by the end of the week. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you wanna see anything else. And of course, I love you so much. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and click subscribe. I'm still not giving up hope on my 100,000 plaque. I swear, I am manifesting it. I will have it one day. I will, mark my words. So that's it, I love you guys and I will see you in next Monday's video.